YouTube. So do you remember about a month ago when I said I wasn't gonna buy any more new books for a while because I just want to read the books that I have on my shelf? That didn't happen exactly the way that I wanted it to. So this is a book haul that I'm embarrassed about, but new books have to be shown, so here we go. So these first three books I do feel at least a little bit better about because I had actually purchased these on Book Outlet before I made that video. And so at the point at which I said I was gonna stop buying books, these had already been purchased and the damage had already been done. So the first one was The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. I don't know much about this book except that it's depressing, I think. Uh, and it's nice and short, and so I'm hoping I can do this one for a readathon maybe. Um, and I've just always heard that this is a great book, so I got this one. Then I got uh, Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Palacio? But this is another book that I've always just seen in bookstores and thought looked awesome and have heard really good things about. And then this one, I've just heard a lot of people talk about uh, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Again, I don't know very much about this except that a uh, guy can hear a dog's thoughts, I think. That's all I know about it. These are the last three sort of impulse buy books that I plan to do for a long time because they weren't ones that were particularly high on my list. I was just like, oh, I should get those. And I need to stop doing that and I need to start reading the ones on my actual shelf. But now that I have them, I'm excited about them. Two, there are two more books in this haul that I actually purchased and made the conscious decision to add to my collection. The rest of them were actually given to me. So first was Outlander. So this counts as like three books because it's so long. It's like 850 pages or something. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it. I've been hearing a lot of people uh, tell me in comments and on Twitter that I should read it because the TV show is out, is coming out, and people really like it. And so I've never really read a book like this and I just decided to give it a try. So myself and two of my friends all decided to buddy read it together. We all have this huge book and I'm gonna probably try to start it this month. And the final book that I purchased this month was Doll Bones by Holly Black. This is a book that I've always just thought looked really cool and if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that Holly Black always ends up surprising me and I always end up loving her books. And I went and actually got rid of a bunch of books at Half Price Books recently and used the money that I made to basically turn it into one new book, which I feel okay about. I feel okay about getting rid of 15 books and bringing home one new one. So I bought this one. But again, it's really short and it'll be really good for a readathon. The last three books in this book haul are from Penguin. I started receiving books from them again, which is great and exciting and awesome, but also means that I'll be getting a lot more books, which means I need to stop buying books even more. So the first thing that they sent me was Rachel Hawkins' Rebel Bell. I am so excited to read this. It's been one of those books that I've always considered getting but never had, and now that Miss Mayhem is out, which I believe they're also sending me, which is why I got this one, I can't wait to just read them both and see what all the fuss is about. It also has just like such a cute cover. I really like this cover and it's always intrigued me. I love the juxtaposition of like, like ribbons and pearls and also like a knife shoved in the wall. So I'm looking forward to this. This is a book that I just picked off of the list because the cover was really cool and also this quote that it has on the inside book jacket really spoke to me and I just thought it was great. And any book that has this message must be good. So the quote is, everybody is smart in different ways, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its life believing it is stupid. I think that is an amazing, amazing quote because of that. I'm really looking forward to reading this book. So this is, again, Fish in, Fish in a Tree by Linda Mulally Hunt. And it looks really cool. And it's bright and colorful, which I like. And the very last book that I have to show you right now is The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. Um, I didn't really know anything about this one, but again, the synopsis sounded really cool. It's about a girl who uh, hasn't been allowed to leave her family's apartment because she has a, a twisted foot and her mother is embarrassed of that, I believe. Um, but then her brother is shipped out to escape the war and the sister decides to sneak away and join him. And that's really all I know. I feel like that's a good amount to know going into a book like this. It also has a really gorgeous cover. And I've been reading books that are sort of like more intense and like I haven't been reading a lot of just like fun, happy books. And so this will just fit in with the book mood that I've been in lately. So I'm really excited about all these books. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold them all for you. This is everything for trying not to buy new books. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad, but I've been getting rid of some of my books. I sort of reorganized my bookshelves recently, and so I'm feeling a little better about that. I think my TBR is actually up to 60 instead of down from 56 where it was before, but what can you do? 
So let me know if you've read any of these books, if you have any thoughts about them that you'd like to share with me. I actually don't want book recommendations in the comments of this video because you guys always tell me things that I go look up and then I buy them and I don't need that in my life right now. So let's just talk about books that that I've talked about and that I've read and that I won't be tempted to buy because it's an issue. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me know how you're doing in the book buying department and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Help. <laughs> Just in my little face.